How to import fonts in Alight Motion. This will be a similar process for both Android and iOS devices, so let's just get started. First, you want to go to a font website and find the font that you want. I personally use dafont.com, and I want to go ahead and download this cool Vetica font right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little and press on download. As you can see, it says my font finished downloading, so I can either open up here, or I can go and open it up in my files app. So I decided I wanted to open this up in the My Files app on my Android. There should be a similar app on iOS devices. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the search icon up top. And then I'm going to search for the font that I just downloaded, which is called Coolvetica. So if I just type in cool, it should pop up here. So as you can see, when I search it up, it says coolvetica.zip. We don't want this to be a .zip file. So depending on what phone you're using and what software you're using to open this, you want to either decompress, uncompress, extract, something like that. So on other phones, you may need to hold down this file here and then click on either like extract, decompress, or uncompress. For me though, I can hold this down, click on the three dots in the top corner, and then I'm gonna click on extract. Then I'll click on extract again. So now if I go and search for Coolvetica again, you will see all the different Coolvetica fonts. All right, so here I am now in a light motion and I want to change the font of this test text here to that Coolvetica font. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Down at the bottom, click on edit text. Then up at the top, you want to click on this font selector here. And then you want to click on view all fonts. Then click on the three horizontal lines at the side. It's going to bring up this little side menu. Then you want to click on import fonts. Now I'm going to go ahead and search for Coolvetica again in my files. Now here are all the fonts that you saw earlier. And let's say I want to import all of them. I would just hold down one of them and then go and select all of them. Then click on select. And now they should all be imported. Now I'll go ahead and pick one of my Coolvetica fonts here. I'll just pick the regular one. And the font on that text is now changed. So that's pretty much it. If this video ended up helping you, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated.